Here's my disclaimer. If you don't like a uh, vulgar delivery, get off of here right now. Secondly, if this shit does not fit you, shut the fuck up. Here we go. What's going on, viewers? It's me once again, Dunn is to Dunn. To get this quick rant out, I went down my news feed and I have to say something because I guess most of these niggas in Shreveport are too simple and too horny to tell you hoes the truth. And I'm obviously the only nigga that'll do it because they're afraid they're going to risk ass to fuck you, even though most of you guys are so easy, a caveman can do it. Hoes, especially the younger ones. A nigga who's never paid you, that has never fucked you, does not get mad when you don't respond to an inbox or a text message. Who the fuck are telling y'all hoes that niggas are pissed off when y'all ignore them? No, a nigga is doing what he can to get what he knows that he wants. And he sees a hoe that is a hoe because most of you hoes are hoes. They just call it what it is. Most of you bitches don't have shit to offer besides your looks and your pussy. And you would turn down a man or reject a man that's trying to holler at you. And you feel like if you fuck a nigga, you're doing him a favor. Fellas, let me tell you this right now. If these hoes reject you take that shit as a blessing because there's only a couple things that can happen when you fuck one of these hoes first off you're probably gonna catch an std if you ain't strapping up and most of you niggas don't strap up on these hoes because you think they look good so you want to feel how a pretty bitch look so if you don't strap up on these hoes most times you're probably gonna catch an std because most of these bitches can't name their sex partners if you gave them a college rule sheet of paper they wouldn't be able to feel that mother they'll feel that motherfucker up and need more room most of these hoes can't name their sex partners in 15 seconds if you told them to. They won't remember the names of them. So you're most likely going to catch STD off these bitches. Secondly, you're probably going to get put on child support behind one of these bitches if you get them pregnant. Because most of these bitches don't have shit to offer. Look at the pictures that they take. The wall right behind, is right behind them. Which means they're in the small room of the house. Which means that is their mama's house. Or their friend. Or their roommate. They don't even have enough decency to go take a picture in the big bedroom of the house. They're in a the fucking 12 by 12 room at the most. These hoes don't have shit to offer. I never see none of these bitches taking pictures by their cars. These them young hoes putting up posts talking about he mad at me because I didn't respond to his text. Bitch, ain't nobody mad at any of y'all hoes for not responding to a text or a fucking inbox. You whores are whores. Niggas move on. When the bitch tell him no, he moves on to the other whore. Just like all the niggas who have fucked you before have moved on. If you was worth any damn thing, any nigga who fucked you would have stuck by you. But you claim to have a million dollar pussy, but your bitches are broke. I'm telling you what you bitches are. You bitches don't have any money to offer a nigga. You bitches know that you, all you know is that you good for looks and your body. You bitches don't ever say shit else to otherwise that you work. You bitches don't say that you're funny. You bitches don't claim that you have a good career going on. You bitches don't claim that you'll be a great mother to your kids that you can cook. All you claim is that niggas want to fuck you. So when it rain, you say you want to cuddle. It's raining. Who wants to bring me something to eat? Who wants to? I need a massage tonight. I need somebody. Who wants to hug me? Who wants to hold me? That's what you bitches put up. Because all you do is broadcast dick and then get dick results. You hoes ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I feel bad for the niggas who are out here trying to fight other niggas over it. Because you niggas so fucking dumb. Some of y'all niggas don't like me here in Shreveport. Because I talk about these old dumbass bitches that you niggas are trying to fuck. You trying to fuck a bitch that's not exclusive. Like I said, most of these bitches are like used cars. Most of these bitches are like prime down police used caprices. Which means they was ran through the ringer and sold to the lowest bidder. And sold again. And sold again. Broken into, broke down, refixed, sold again. But you niggas out here trying to argue and fight other niggas over it when y'all don't understand these bitches have been fucking other niggas like talking about it for a while. Soon as you get murdered, as soon as you get put in jail, that bitch will be fucking somebody before your body turns cold. But you niggas out here trying to talk shit and fight other niggas over this shit. Niggas are sad because y'all got these hoes thinking that they worth something. Y'all out here liking on these bitches pro, uh, profile pictures all damn day. Y'all liking on these bitches motherfucking post when they talk about niggas want me but i didn't holler at the nigga so and y'all gonna like on the shit because y'all want the pussy so bad that 40 other niggas don't probably already had ain't no problem these, these hoes been fucking 40 niggas like i said look at their pictures the wall is right behind them none of these bitches have anything going for themselves and they cheap ass clothes big ass weeds on their head weak ass makeup they put on their face no money Everything that they have is sponsored by a nigga who's fucking them at the time. 
Y'all niggas better recognize these bitches ain't shit and stop praising these hoes. These hoes gonna fuck somebody. Think about it. How many hoes you ever seen that was deprived of dick? None. So stop trying to praise these hoes to fuck them. They're going to fuck somebody. And you hoes need to understand that you need to humble yourselves. You are not a hot commodity. A hot commodity is a bitch that haven't been touched. They got her fucking career. They got her some money behind her. Without kids. You bitches have kids by everybody. Or if you bitches don't have kids, it's because you probably can't have them yet. You probably been burnt so many times that your insides are on fire. And it's over with for you. Recognize, man. That these hoes ain't shit. Stop praising these hoes. These hoes gonna fuck you any fucking way. Be honest with them. I guess I'm the only one that's gonna do it. Anyway, ain't nobody mad at you hoes if you don't respond. Like I said, if a nigga ain't spent money on you already, he can give a fuck if you don't respond to his inbox. He gonna go to your friend's inbox next. Even if he fuck you, he gonna go to your friend's or cousin inbox after that. You hoes ain't shit. And I'm the only nigga that's willing to tell you that. Get y'all shit together first before you try to fuck with some real niggas. Because y'all fucking with lame ass simp ass niggas. Niggas that have to do what they can to get pussy. Niggas that can't be honest with you and get the pussy. Real niggas will tell you some real shit. But you hoes that run around talking about, well, he only make these kind of posts because he can't get pussy. He only make these posts because he's hurt. He make these posts because he's bitter. I don't know why y'all feel like if a nigga be honest, he can't get the pussy. I mean, by y'all logic, y'all are admitting, because y'all don't ever say I'm lying. Y'all admitting that a nigga has to lie and make you feel good in order to get pussy. Because if he be honest and don't say it the way you want him to say it, you won't fuck him. But you say you want something real, which we all know this is not a fact, too, because if you wanted something real, your hair would be real. But that's fake, too. So if your hair is fake, your conversation is going to be fake. You want a fake nigga to come at you. I understand why you bitch keep getting fake results. This is how sad it has gotten. When you can openly have a whore, because she is a whore, can come on the page and say shit like, it don't matter how many dicks a girl go from day to day. If a girl fuck a nigga here and fuck a nigga there, as long as she's single, it doesn't matter. And you get niggas to thumbs that shit up, that's how you know it's a sad day. This is a whore, but you thumbs the shit up because you want to keep whores dumb. And you whores are too stupid to realize that niggas want to keep y'all dumb like this, but it can keep getting random pussy from you bitches. You bitches are used up, washed up. The average chick on my page is washed the fuck up. In their 20s, they bodies look like shit out of their clothes. That's why they try to wear clothes to make a little pieces of their body hang out. Because they know the rest of their body is fucked off. 